Hi, everybody. We are on area of circles and sectors. So after today or this video, you will be able to find the area of a circle and a sector. Start with the easier part first. Area of a circle is just pi r squared. Remember, r is your radius, which makes up half of your diameter. So two radii make up the diameter. So pi r squared is your formula. This might be new. Sector. A sector is a section of a circle bounded by a central angle and its intercepted arc. So the central angle is this angle right here, and then it's bounded by the arc it makes with the edge of the circle. Think of it like a piece of pizza or pie, right? It kind of looks like a piece of pie. Um, we're able to find the area of a sector by taking the portion of the circle we want, which is right here. So this is the portion. N is your degree, so whatever your central angle is, that's what you plug in for N. So whatever this angle measure is goes right in here for N. Over 360 times the whole area pi r squared. So this part right here gives you the part. This is the area of the whole circle. That's why that makes sense. So find the area of the sector. We're just plugging right into that formula, folks. I'll write it out this first time so you can see it. So our angle is 53 over, oops, 360. Hold on one second, guys. We're good. Okay, sorry, 360 times pi four squared. And now just calculator work. You can do this a few different ways. Um, you need to type it all in. Just make sure you put things in parentheses like this. Otherwise, this might give you the wrong answer. But um, I'm going to make this portion of our circle a decimal. So 53 divided by 360 is about 0.147. Three decimal places should be enough. Times pi 4 squared is 16. Type that into your calculator. And you should get approximately 7.4 feet squared. Remember, it is squared because it's area. Find the area of this sector. So think, we want the shaded part, right? So they gave us the angle measure for this part, but I want this whole part. So we got to figure out what our angle is. Well, we know there's 360 degrees around a circle, subtract away, and we should get 295. So that is our degree, times pi, what's our radius? 11 squared. Again, now it's calculator work. 295 divided by 360 is about 0.819 times pi, 11 squared is 121. Again, just some more calculator work. You should get about approximately 311.5 inches squared. Find the area of the shaded region. So we kind of call these like composite figures. It's just like a bunch of things happening at once. You either find, or you either, no, you do, you find the area of the shapes and either subtract or add them together. So in this example here, we have a square and a circle. Let's find the area of a square first. Um, area of a square is just length times width, so 25 times 25. 25 times 25 is 625. Now let's find the area of that circle. Area of our circle here, so pi r squared, what would our radius be? So maybe the easier question to answer right now is what would our diameter be? So from here to here is the same as here to here is the same as here to here. So this whole thing's 25. We want our radius to be half of that. So 12.5. So now we can plug that in. Pi r squared. Again, calculator work, which we absolutely love. About 490.8. 
And now we just subtract away because we just want the shaded part. So we're going to take our square, subtract away our circle to get about 134.13 feet squared. Okay, one left, folks. Find the area of the shaded region. So our two things we are looking at is obviously we have a half or a semicircle, right? And then the bigger figure here, you know, it's kind of goofy looking, but it has two sides of parallel bases. So it's a trapezoid. So let's start with that. Area of a trapezoid. Half our height would be, oh boy, we gotta find our height. This is a good problem. I'm gonna go like this real quick. So we could draw in our height right here. So I know from here to here is 17, right? That's the same as this guy. So what's left of our 37? If we take 17 away, it's 20. And now we can do Pythagorean theorem to get our height. So we'll have x squared plus 20 squared equals 25 squared. x squared plus 400 equals 625. Subtract away. And we should get x squared equals 225, which means x equals 50. And there we go, folks. Found our height times our bases added together, so 17 plus 37, half of 15 to 7.5, 17 plus 37 is 54, multiply those out, we get 405. Now let's find the area of the circle, half circle, so let's find the area of the whole circle and divide by two. So pi, your radius would be half of 15, so 7.5 squared all over 2. Um, let's do this. So pi 7.5 squared is about 56.25 all over 2. Type that into your calculator and you should get about 88.35. Last step is to subtract. So 405 minus 88.35 should give us a total of 316.7 inches squared. We did it. Good work, kids. Okay, that's what I have for you. We'll see you in class. Bye.